Hey guys, my name is SJ, I am a member of three, and this video is to raise awareness of something that so many people have never heard of, including me, but a health issue that unlocked so many things I was going through with my middle son, Finn, um, which is that he is allergic to his bed. Now, many children say they're allergic to bedtime, I know, but this isn't clickbait. He is 100% diagnosed as allergic to his bed, um, and we have solved the issue now, but he went from being a very unwell with a list of kind of different things that were happening, different symptoms that no medical expert had sort of joined the dots and gone, this is an allergy. And I think that happens so often. Like if you're an allergy parent or you have allergies yourselves, like how often do you feel like if somebody just looking at this whole holistic view of a child, it's so tough, isn't it? And as parents, we have to trust our guts. And I found out that he was allergic to his bed through such an awful way, through an anaphylactic shock situation. Um, and I wanted to talk about it for a while, but yeah, I hope that this unlocks something for you. And please do watch even if your child doesn't have an allergy because I had no idea that Finn had this allergy until he was nearly four. And I wish I'd known sooner just by hearing somebody else say the symptoms to me. You will have seen that this is a sponsored video. So I'm working with a brand called Meek Plus. They are actually a Nordic inspired brand, which is perfect for me because we're a half Swedish family. And they got in touch um, and started talking to me about this, which is their laundry detergent. It's an absolutely brilliant product because it has the Asthma Allergy Denmark stamp, which means that it is designed to be as kind to people who have allergies as it is to the environment because they're also Nordic Eco Label certified as well, which means that um, all the packaging is as eco as it can be. This laundry detergent is free of colorants, it's free of scent, um, which we don't need to wash the clothes, and it became one of the crucial things that I had to change, one of my crucial laundry habits had to change to help Finn get through his allergy and to recover from it. So it was lovely to be contacted by these guys. I'm gonna be working with them, I hope, ongoing. And they have some brilliant products as well, like um, I wanted to show you this one, which is like a baby bottle um, and dummy and vegetable wash. Um, so that totally purifies anything that could be covered in nasties basically that you don't want going in your children's mouth so they're a really interesting brand at the moment they're only available mail order here in the uk but great product to raise awareness of and to get into our hands i hope if you are in the nordic regions or if you're in new york they are available in store so Finn had a severe allergic reaction to a raw bar um, at home and it was full anaphylactic shock, first time he'd ever shown any signs of having a food intolerance, even an intolerance. Um, it was, you know, throat closing up, covered in hives, unable to move his jaw and talk um, and it happened over like a couple of hours, like it's not like a Hollywood movie, like it slowly began to take over him and they came and injected him and that was it. We were an EpiPen family from then on. We carried two EpiPens, we carried Pyroton and we were given an inhaler. But I'd never heard the phrase allergic asthma before but that is pretty much what it is. It is an allergy that's causing these breathing issues. So he'd also been diagnosed with viral induced wheezing which was that he often had issues with breathing and tugging and it wasn't asthma traditionally because it wasn't caused by strenuous activity or anything like that. So they just said it's you know, caused by viruses even though he didn't have temperatures. Nobody had ever said this could be an allergy and since I've discovered Finn's allergy and I've shared that on lots of forums I'm part of, loads of people have come back to me and said that they also cured their children's nighttime coughing and nighttime breathing issues. It's helped skin, um, his skin irritations, so he was an eczema baby, which obviously they're all linked. Um, and since he's had this new diagnosis, we've also cleared him of eczema as well. So essentially when he went in for his testing, for his allergy testing, it was really stressful, lots of blood tests for him, and he was only three and a half. They came back saying that he was sort of three out of six scale allergic to nuts which was a good outcome, but they said, you know, that the anomaly was probably the test, not his reaction, which was full anaphylaxis, so we have to treat him like he has a six allergy. Whereas five and six was actually 
dust mites in his bedding. He had a severe allergy to them and I had no idea. Um, we'd kept his bedroom, you know, we had humidifiers and all sorts of stuff going on in his bedroom for his eczema, um, but I'd never heard of this allergy being so severe in a person, in a child. So the advice is so simple, it is switching your laundry detergent to an anti-allergy one, not a non-biological one. Look for the allergy ones, um, like Meek Plus, who I'm working with. Um, but mainly by the dust mite bedding. So it's dust mite bedding, obviously we have anti-allergy bedding as well, but there are dust mite beddings which goes over the pillow and over the mattress, which stops the two way, the allergens coming out. Um, because obviously dust mites are in all pillows, all mattresses, all quilts, um, no matter if they're brand new from the store, they are part of the fabric of fabric, um, but some people are severely allergic to them. So Finn was going to bed every night with this huge, severe allergy and we did notice that his breathing got worse when we were traveling a lot and that makes sense because potentially those are older bedding as well which may carry more dust mites so now we always travel with obviously his full allergy kit but also travel with your own pillow travel with your um dust mite wrappings because you never know when allergies are going to hit and having an allergic reaction abroad is terrifying because it's so hard to communicate so there are apps that will translate your allergies as well which i will leave a link to in the comment section below so dust my allergy is real finn also had a very severe speech delay which i know as his mum that was caused by this allergy like we had all his hearing done, we had the glue ear checks, had everything done, and he spoke in a very bunged up way, back of the throat, he couldn't pronounce his letters. And as soon as we changed his bedding and the detergent and everything we were doing around the dust my allergy, he looked different. He came downstairs and I had a shock in one night Suddenly he wasn't puffy, his eyes weren't puffy, and I just got used to him looking like that. I didn't even realise that he was puffy. Um I just thought that's what he looked like and suddenly he looked pale and small and I couldn't figure out what I was looking at and it was the difference. It was because he wasn't um, having those allergies anymore and we started the speech therapy and he's still doing that now and he is six. Um, but to correct all of that, I think it was because his sinuses and he was so blocked. So if you have a child with eczema, if you have a child with any food intolerances, if you have a child with a speech delay, if you have a child that coughs a lot at night. Nighttime coughing was the one thing that the allergy expert asked me about. Does he cough a lot at night? And I was like, yeah, he's always coughed at night. And I just put that down to age. I just thought that was normal um, and it's not, that is a sign of a dust my allergy, could be um, causing them to cough a lot at night. It's so simple to um, block them. And I really hope that this is an interesting video for you guys, because to be honest, I feel like allergy awareness becomes something that I'm really, really passionate about, which we know if you follow me on Instagram, so I'm constantly talking about it, but there's not enough known about allergies. There's so many misunderstandings about allergies, um, and there's not enough awareness about allergic asthma, which is one of the leading causes of death by allergy, is the breathing. Um, so we need to really be aware and um, educate ourselves and educate as many parents as we can. So. Um, yeah, do share this video if you feel like it. Um, do give it a thumbs up, do share your allergy stories in the comment section below and let me know if you've heard of this type of allergy before. If you want more information about allergies, then I will link some Instagram accounts you can follow in the description box below and get more advice, or of course you can DM me and chat to me here in the comments as well. I want to extend a massive huge thank you to Meek Plus for encouraging me to tell my allergy story because it was something that I wanted to talk about for a long time, but, um, have found hard because it's talking about something with your child that could potentially be life-threatening and it's a difficult topic it really really is and i know you'll understand that if you are an allergy mum or parent yourself um check these guys out as well i will leave their links in the description box below and hopefully you'll be seeing them again on my channel with some more products and hopefully we can get them more widely available because there's more awareness as there is and uh, the more products there will be on the market for people like us so yes, take care everybody. I'm dying to know what you think of the video in the comment section below. Bye-bye.